In this video, we will write down the partition function for the ideal chain we described in the previous video. We use capital R to denote the downward displacement of the weight from the nail. Capital R is the sum of the tail-to-head displacements of the individual links of the chain. It takes on its greatest value, capital N, when all the links point downward. It takes on its most negative value, minus capital N, when all the links point upward. Values of capital R more positive or more negative than these are not possible without breaking the chain. To represent the contribution of the gravitational potential energy of the weight to the energy of the system, we say that the energy of the chain squiggly E is negatively proportional to the displacement capital R. The proportionality coefficient capital F parameterizes how much the system's energy varies with the height of the weight. The coefficient F is called the force. There are no other terms in the energy function of the system involving, for example, whether two consecutive links point parallel or anti-parallel. There are no so-called interactions between links. In this sense, this is an ideal chain. The animation oscillates between two states. Each state corresponds to its own value of the system energy squiggly E. What are the states and the corresponding energies? When the chain is fully extended downward, its length is r equals 5 and its energy is minus 5f. When precisely one link points upward, the length of the chain is instead r equals 3 and the corresponding system energy is now minus 3f. Thus, using this convention for writing down the energy function, also known as the Hamiltonian of the system, the energy increase resulting from lifting one link in the chain is 2f. The more downwardly extended the chain, the lower the gravitational potential energy of the weight, well, the gravitational potential energy of the weight and the earth presumably implied. Our goal is to calculate average properties of the chain corresponding to the states that the chain explores and corresponding to the relative times those states are explored as the world as a whole explores its accessible configurations. As we discussed in the previous slide deck, the partition function provides one way to begin such calculations. The partition function was defined as the sum over the Boltzmann factors corresponding to each energy level in the system, weighted according to the number of system states at each energy level. This is equivalent to a sum over the Boltzmann factors corresponding to each individual system state. For the chain in this slide deck, each individual state of the system is specified by indicating the particular state of each individual link, S1, S2, and so forth, up through S sub n. For example, we name this state, with the link attached to the nail pointing up and the other four links pointing down, we name it minus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. As another example, we call this state, with the link touching the nail and the penultimate link, not the one actually touching the weight, but the one just before it, both pointing up, we denote this minus 1, plus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1. For a general chain or polymer, the number of links, and thus the number of states of the system, may be large. To write down the partition function in a tidy fashion, it is helpful to write down all the terms for the simple situation in which there are only two links. We need to write down a Boltzmann factor for the situation in which both links point upward, another Boltzmann factor for the situation in which both links point downward, and then two Boltzmann factors for the situations in which one link points upward while the other link points downward either with the link attached to the nail pointing upward, or instead with the link attached to the weight pointing upward. The energy function squiggly E has two slots. The first slot takes the state of the first link S sub 1, and the second slot takes the state of the second link S sub 2. The yellow pointer highlights a pair of plus 1s in the second slot of the first vertical column of terms and the blue pointer highlights a pair of minus ones in the last slot of the second vertical column of terms. In the first row of terms, the first slots are both plus one, and in the second row, the first slots are both minus one. 
The sum over four terms can be written as a sum using index S sub 1. Within the parentheses in this sum, the only difference between the two Boltzmann factors is in the second slot of the energy function. It's plus 1 in the first Boltzmann factor and minus 1 in the second. This pair of Boltzmann factors in the parentheses can themselves be viewed as a sum over index S sub 2. Summing over the states of a pair of links is equivalent to a pair of nested sums over the states of individual links. We say nested because the so-called outer sum with index S sub 1 eats whatever results from first doing the so-called inner sum with index S sub 2. Generalizing to a chain with n links, the sum over states for n links corresponds to a series of n nested sums. The Boltzmann factor in the partition function places a negative sign in front of the system energy squiggly E. As in the previous slide deck, this is because an increase in system energy at the cost of energy in the bath reduces the number of ways to find the bath, exponentially in squiggly E. There is also a negative sign in the energy function. When the energy function is placed inside the partition function, these two negative signs cancel. The sum in the exponent corresponds to a product of exponential functions. These first n minus 1 factors are functions of variables s1, s2, and so forth up to s n minus 1. None of these first n minus 1 factors are functions of the state of the nth link s sub n. As far as the sum over s sub n is concerned, these factors look like constants, which can be factored out in front. This means do the sum over s sub n first and multiply it against the other factors exponential of f s sub 1 over tau dot 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 through exponential of f s sub n minus 1 over tau, and all that junk. Sum it in a nested fashion starting with s sub n minus 1, then moving on to s sub n minus 2 and so forth, working all the way out to the left until the sum over s sub 1 is completed. The sum over s sub n does not depend on any other variable s sub 1, s sub 2 and so forth up through s n minus 1. This means this particular sum is a constant, as far as the other sums are concerned, and can be factored out of the nested sums all the way to the left. Using the same algebraic manipulations we have used to set aside the sum over s sub n in its own pair of parentheses, we can isolate sums corresponding to the other variables as well. We have n factors of the same sum, with the index running over two states. This is the nth power of the simple quantity, e to the f over tau, plus e to the minus f over tau. Now that we have written out the partition function, we will use it in the next video to calculate the average value of the energy of the system and the average downward elongation of the chain. When we say average, we mean averaged during the process in which the world explores its accessible configurations.